What's up guys? Welcome back to Jeep TV. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, today we're going to be working on SoCo behind me. We found some issues uh, while we were uh, on the uh, CTI ramp at Jeep Beach. Um, you know, when we were flexing out, we are actually hitting in the rear on our uh, sway bar. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, we gotta we gotta get that thing turned Yeah, it would have went on up. Yes. Um, I mean, you can move this link to the outside. Yeah. You've actually got some room because of the back spacing in the wheel. Yeah. That that'll have room. The next issue usually is the threads on this this bolt. We're gonna catch it. They're always gonna catch the frame right there, so guys will cut those threads off. Okay. Um, and then it's just kind of how much room you got for that tire. To As the sway bars were up traveling, they would hit on the frame at the end on the uh, bolt. So what we're gonna do is once we get the wheel spacers on, we're gonna move those to the outside. That way it doesn't hit anymore. That way it's traveling freely. Um, also, uh, we're going to be hitting the trails today, so what we're going to do is we're going to get these spacers on, we're going to fix the issue in the rear, take a look at it, and we're going to hit the trails and test this thing out. Here we go. <music> It's a big drop. <laughs> yeah. 
Nice. Big drop right there. Another big drop. You're good. You want a pic? Okay. You want to get a picture? You want a picture? You got a picture? <laughs> Ethan, sit down. Sit down. So what I did was flip the bolt from being over here to over here. So that way whenever it up travels, it doesn't come in contact with the frame anymore. Um, so that was a definite fix we had to do. But I, I couldn't run it this way because my tire was too far in and it was going to hit. Or it was close and it was going to hit. But um, anyway, so we got the wheel spacers on here. So it's actually moved the tire out by, uh, they're inch and a half spacers, but I think you only get really like an inch. I don't know how that works, but anyways. Um, yeah. But this is the new stance. 
So the Dirty Turtle, this is its stance. It's about the same. I think hers is maybe a uh, little bit in. You can kind of tell by the brakes. Brake. Uh, Backs of the brakes kind of gives it away how much wider they are. But it's got a really good stance on it now. Um, it might be a little bit too wide for my liking, but to be honest with you, it performed great today. What are they are? But it's got a really good stance on it now. Um, it might be a little bit too wide for my liking, but to be honest with you, it performed great today. I actually, uh, my pin up here is bent somehow. I don't know what the hell happened there, but um, anyways, got some adjusting to do with those front sway bar links. My uh, motor went out for the sway bar disconnect. Today was a really fun day. We had a great time. Um, so we went to Prentice Cooper and did a uh, morning ride. So we got there at like 11.30 and we rode till about 1.30 or almost 2 o'clock. Let's see. That's not right. Almost 3 o'clock, I guess. So it was, it was quite a quite a bit of a day. So we had to get the boys back so they could take a nap and stuff like that. But anyways, uh, the Jeep performed awesome. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've got to get these fenders cut or replaced or removed something because i still kind of did hit the fenders um anyways peace out guys take care keep jeeping